and it's so hot that I don't even want to go nowhere. I'm melting and I don't even have anything on my face. Like, this Texas heat is something some of y'all might not know about and you don't want to know about because it is like so humid, so hot to where you only want to wear like a swimsuit or something or your bra. Like, it's rough. Why am I so close to the camera? So this is making me look getting flushed. <clears throat> it's so hot I can't even think straight. Hey guys, so I'm attempting to vlog on my way to the store. I'm sweating. Um, we're going to have to cut this car audio stuff short because I can't function right now in this heat. I haven't been in my car um, since this morning, so it's like already hot in the car. I don't want to turn the AC all the way up because you won't be able to hear me talk. So I have the window cracked, but I'm I'm dying. So, and I'm glad I didn't put any foundation on. I was gonna let my skin breathe, but uh, I didn't know it was this hot outside. How hot is it? In my car alone, it's 109 degrees. Okay, <sighs> let me move quickly. So I um, am on my way to the store. I think I'm gonna go to Walgreens first to see what they have. But um, lately I've been trying to do right, since I recolored my hair, it looks a mess, ignore that. Um, since I recolored my hair and added some more highlights in, I've noticed that it's gotten drier. Um, and just using the color and straightening my hair more than I should. Long story short, I'm going to be trying the lock method. Um, I should already be doing that using an oil, a leave-in, and a, what does it see? But um, I just can't seem to find the right products or if I've been using something for a while, I've been trying to switch it up. But everything that I buy is not, either not working right off the bat or I'll give it like a month or something and it's not doing anything for me in my hair type. And it's making me mad because all the YouTube videos and like people that I follow, with either similar hair to me or just curly hair, their texture is different and they don't have damage or you know they just have perfect virgin hair. So nothing is really helping me or um, all the referrals that I'm getting aren't really doing the job. So I'm going to just be looking, shopping around, um, again, um, based off of different things that I've seen or used in the past, trying to do better and trying to find some things that I can actually keep in my hair routine um, for a longer time. So. Y'all are going to come with me through the store. Hopefully we find some stuff here at Walgreens. Um, but if not, then I'll go to Target because everybody loves Target. Or since I work at Ulta, I'll go to an Ulta in the area. But I'd rather not. So Let's go. been using this Jamaican black castor oil leave-in conditioner and I like it it's great but I'm kind of tired of the smell and I want to try something different um, and I have used this kinky curly um, not today leave-in so I might end up getting that again uh, but I was really hoping I could get like a leave-in conditioner cream not like a spray leave-in just you know something thicker since my hair is really dry as well so I'm just gonna kind of look around and see if they have anything Really looks like the section is kind of small for natural hair care. So that sucks, but we'll see. So I didn't have much luck at Walgreens. They had the um, kinky curly leave-in that I was thinking about getting um, and some other stuff that I've used, but I wanted to buy kind of in bulk, like all my stuff at one store at the same time. So I'm at Target now, um, and I know they'll have some stuff. It's just a matter of do I want to spend on the stuff, you know what I'm saying? So it's hot as hell. I'm about to go in here real quick, give me like an icy or something, and go home. Um, I have to cook and meal prep for work this week, and I was planning on doing my hair tonight. Uh, so, yeah, let me get in here. So 
so I'm at Target and they have all of these brands that I heard so much about but I haven't tried. I've tried TGIN, thank God it's natural, but they have Camila Rose, Mixed Chicks, tried Diva Curl, not crazy about it, um, Jackie's, not crazy about it, Pantene, so I take that back. I've tried a lot of this stuff, Carol's Daughter, Millie Cosmetics, Shea Moisture, Cream of Nature, there's so much stuff here. So I'm just going to grab some stuff and just try it out. Hopefully it works. We'll see. So I just left Target and I came and got me a smoothie. And it's literally raining right now. Like it's 90. I don't know. It's 101 degrees in my car. But it's like 93 outside. And it's raining. Like I don't understand. I'm While we're here. I can show you what got a leave-in conditioner that's water-based because I am going to be starting the lock method, which if you aren't familiar, I figured out what the C was, it's cream. So L for leave-in, um, usually they're going to be water-based um, for moisture, and then O is going to be the oil, so I picked up, I think, I picked up argan oil, and then the C is for cream, so like a twist-out cream or a styling cream which I have. So I got, um, I don't know how to pronounce her brand, M Millie, we're gonna go with that. Millie, Co um, I was gonna say cosmetics. Ooh, uh, whatever, this hair care line, I haven't, oh my gosh. Like the sun is out, I don't understand why it's raining and it's 100 degrees outside. Got this leave-in, we're gonna see how it works. Um, I'm gonna try it tonight. And then for my oil, it, I was in Target for like almost an hour because I couldn't find pure whatever. Like I just wanted a pure oil, 100% um, authentic oil. And I should have went to the beauty supply, but the one that I go to by my house doesn't do returns. So I wasn't about to go waste my money just in case I didn't like it, like everything else that I buy. So I just got this little bottle. It's a one ounce bottle. I know it was only $5, but still that's expensive one ounce bottle of pure argan oil and the brand is Defeal. I've never heard of this brand before, but I'm just gonna try a little bit of this plus the um, hair growth oil that I have at home. I'll mix those together and use that as my oil, and my oil, my oil until I um, buy, purchase a, a bigger bottle when I run out of that. Um, so I have those two things and then I have the Shea Moisture Curl Smoothie at home that's gonna be my cream. Um, and then I think I have some other creams as well that I could just go off of. And I saw some people on YouTube using um, like a gel after they use their cream. And some people were doing like the LCO method, like switching it up. So I don't know what I'm going to do or what my hair will end up like reacting to um, or liking, I should say. Uh, but I have like Eco Styler at home. I have Diva Curl. So I'm just going to just make my own cocktail, like the curly girls will say, and see, you know, what my hair actually likes. Um, and then I needed a new brush because my brush is old and really dirty and stuff. So I got this hard bristle brush from Target. I was surprised to see a little bit more um, of an ethnic representation at Target. Like, I know it's still kind of isolated in its own section, but they're doing better at getting more things, I guess you could say. Um, beauty supply-like items. So I also saw this cute little um, satin scarf. I do have a satin bonnet and I sleep on a satin pillowcase, but my hair still dries out and doesn't retain moisture. So I just got this really because it was cute. And I just picture myself like doing my makeup and having my scarf tied and you know, my edges laid. But yeah, I just got this because it looked good. And I mean, it, I'll use it at night. I'll put this on and then I'll put on my bonnet, but I don't usually sleep with my bonnet on, so. And that was it. Well, I got this gift bag my best friend's birthday is what's today today's monday it's on wednesday it stopped raining a little so i'm gonna go home because your girl is tired from being out for about an hour and a half in the sun and now the rain so i'm just gonna um drink this and i must say this iphone 10 camera is bomb like it's making my skin look better than what it is okay rain um, so for my skin, I do want to post a, aww. Just when it was getting better, now it's getting worse. I have to go home. I'll talk to y'all soon. It looks like after a day of work, um, there's still a lot of frizz. Um, 
there's still a lot of frizz the products that i used um i mean it, it feels like it helped my hair stay a little more hydrated than it usually is but it i mean the frizz is still there and the perm rod to curl these two pieces to see if it would like hold better than my hair would air dry which it did because i still have some straight pieces that aren't really um they're not similar at all they're just kind of random so i'm going to do a perm rod tonight to get better results i'm gonna use like small rods medium large uh just because i feel like manipulating my curl is going to give me better results than me just doing like a an air dry wash and go because my hair is not where it was at i'm assuming because of the color uh i don't know why else it would be the way it is but so i'm going to try that tonight and i'll see how it goes because i really want to like the products that i bought in the the lock method the leave-in oil and cream uh, method i think that's going to help me more than it will hurt or not really do anything for me because i need the moisture so i'm going to try that again but i'm going to manipulate my curl by using the perm rods um and hopefully that works so take two